Welcome to Stats in 5, your quick and easy breakdown of Jamaica's latest official statistics from the Statistical Institute of Jamaica. In this episode, we are recapping the key releases published in December, which reflect price changes, trade activity for November 2025. We're also going to be looking at the performance of Jamaica's economy for the July to September 2025 quarter. We start with the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. The All Jamaica Consumer Price Index for November 2025 increased by 2.4%. This was the largest monthly increase since September 2013 and matches the increase recorded after Hurricane Beryl in August 2024. Importantly, this release is the first to capture the impact of Hurricane Melissa on consumer prices. The biggest driver of the increase was food and non-alcoholic beverages, which rose by 6%. The index for the class vegetables, tubers, plantains, cooking bananas and pulses increased by 19.1% as consumers paid more for produce such as tomatoes, pumpkins, sweet peppers, hot peppers and cucumbers. Fruits were also more expensive, with the fruit and nut class increasing by 8.8%, reflecting higher prices for items like papayas, watermelons and ackees. In addition, ready-made food and other food products increased by 16.4%, mainly due to higher scallion prices. In contrast, the index for the housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels declined by 1.3%, largely because of lower electricity rates. While the transport division showed no movement when compared to October. The point-to-point -point inflation rate as at November 2025 was 4.4%. Moving on to the international merchandise trade statistics. For the period January to August 2025, Jamaica spent US 5,131 million US dollars on imports, while earnings from total exports amounted to US 1,210.9 million dollars. Compared to the same period in 2024, the value of imports rose by 3.7%, driven by increased purchases of raw materials and intermediate goods, as well as consumer goods. Export earnings were also slightly higher, increasing by 1%, mainly due to stronger performance in crude materials. Jamaica's main import partners during the period were the United States, China, Brazil, Japan, and Nigeria, with imports from these countries increasing by 6.8%, due largely to higher chemical imports. On the export side, the top destinations were the United States, the Russian Federation, Iceland, Canada, and the Netherlands, where export earnings grew by 1% to US $855.6 million, driven by crude materials. We wrap up with a look at the GDP or the gross domestic product. In the July to September quarter of 2025, Jamaica's economy saw a 5.1% growth compared to the same quarter last year. This was the result of increases in the goods producing industries of 10.9% and the services industries of 3.3%. The economy's performance reflected recovery from the negative impacts of Hurricane Burial in July 2024, with sectors like agriculture, mining, electricity and tourism showing increased activity. Agriculture recorded 20.9% growth thanks to great weather and efforts from private and public sector entities to boost production activity. Mining and quarrying grew by 4%, manufacturing by 8.4% and construction by 5.5%. In the services industries, every industry saw improvement except public administration and defense, which dipped slightly. Industries like accommodation and food services jumped 6.8%, transport grew 7.1%, and financial services increased by 5.3%. Real value added increased by 1.1% in the third quarter of 2025 when compared with the second quarter of that same year, marking the third consecutive quarterly growth for 2025. 
This performance was due to a 2.1% increase in the goods producing industries and a 0.8% increase in the services industries. For more detailed tables, visit statinja.gov.jm and explore the full statistical bulletins for each release. That's it for this month's Stats in 5. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.